release the day. On Tuesday, Alpena County will vote on a 10-year .7462 millage renewal that would cost the owner of a $100,000 house about $37.31 a year. The Alpena County Commissioners voted to disband the Alpena County Library Board to rectify issues with sexually explicit books in the teenage area and a vote on a millage that happens August 6th. Whatever decision I made, I was going to have a faction that was with me and a faction that was against me. It was a tough resolve for our commissioners trying to save the vote. Well, we made the decision that we thought was best for the community. There was a conservative group that was out to defeat the library millage. We wouldn't have a library then. We want the library to survive, and by doing this, we think we got the millage passed. The subject has been debated. Minds are made up. The passion is intense, and Alpena is about to vote. Over 100 people marched Saturday in support of the library board and the millage. We had an entire contingent that came out from Harrisville because we wanted to support Alpena because we don't want the same type of thing to be happening in our community. Our library is the nerve center of our county and we need to allow the librarians to do their jobs. Even the president of the League of Women Voters of Northeast Michigan marched for the cause. We support First Amendment rights that people should be allowed to read what they want to read and we just want to support the libraries and the librarians. What we heard about what's happened up here is worrisome, and we want to stop the spread of that kind of ideology. At odds are some books placed in the teen section that some want put in the adult section or behind a counter due to sexually explicit content. The books uh, I thought were inappropriate, and we, they should have been placed in a appropriate area and not where the kids could get at it. And nobody seemed to wanted to do that. So that was another reason why I decided to do what I did. At the last library board meeting, the vast majority out of people who spoke were in support of the library.